Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 11th HTML tutorial. In this tutorial I figured we're going to talk about how to create lists. And um, This is basically what a list looks like in HTML. This is an unordered list. There are actually three different types of lists that you can make, um, with them being obviously unordered lists. Then you also have ordered lists, which are lists that are um, created like this using numbers instead, so instead of the bullet points here would have numbers. Um, and then you also have definition lists, which are, which are a bit different, they're not really bulleted per se. Um, but they're basically used to list items and then essentially define them underneath. So um, I'm going to make two separate tutorials to show you how to do those. But um, for this one, we're going to concentrate on unordered lists. So this is basically what one looks like. I used a header three tag here to um, define the list and just tell you what it was. Um, and then I put the items on the grocery list here, bread, milk, cereal, apples, and juice. So let's come into the code here and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so basically, this is what it is. I'm going to reset this over here and then I'll show you how to make the page from scratch just so you uh, have an idea about it. So uh, let's just start it with our HTML tags. Almost created the body tag down there. Um, so head and in our head we'll add our title. And we'll call this unordered lists. We'll come down and create our body and close it off. Okay, so this is our basic shell for our HTML page. Uh, we can save that, come on over here, and take a look at it, and it's blank other than the title up here. Um, and if you haven't watched some of the tutorials before, you'll notice that this is saved on my desktop just because it's easier to find. Um, but you can save it to wherever you want and just open the file in your web browser. So we come back down to the code here. Um, a list basically involves uh, two sets of tags. Um, in the second tag that you're going to be using, you can duplicate depending on the amount of items on your list. So um, before we get into making the list, let's just uh, put a little title at the top of the list here, just so we know what it's talking about. And like in the previous example, I'm going to make another grocery list just because, I don't know, that's kind of what I think about when I think of lists. So um, we'll use our third header tag, which is uh, somewhere in the middle in, in terms of size of header tags. So we'll call it grocery lists. And uh, let's refresh and take a look over here. And you'll notice that right here, all we have is our title of the list here. So um, let's get to work on actually making the list in HTML. So we'll come on down here. And uh, the tag that we're going to be using for an unordered list is just UL. And um, like every or most um, other HTML tags, there's also a closing tag. And that's uh, simply UL. So anything that's between these two tags is going to be what's on our list. And if we refresh this here and come on over to Firefox, you'll notice that there's still nothing. Um, but if we look at our code here, in our page source, you will notice that there's the uh, two unordered tags that we put there. So let's go back into our Notepad++ and start putting items on the list. And just for convenience, I'm just going to space this down a little bit, since the items in the list are going to be uh, in the middle, and just to make it look more like a list within the code. Um, it kind of makes it less confusing and easier to read, but you can still have it um, without the spaces if you if you prefer. So uh, that's up to you, but I prefer it like this. So. Um, the first thing we're going to put on the list is, I don't know, we'll say milk. And in order to add milk, what we're going to do is use the list item tag. Um, obviously, you can probably tell the UL stands for unordered list, and um, everything on the list in HTML is called an item. So uh, the list item tag is just li. And um, again, we're going to need a closing tag. So um, this is basically how you set up a list. So we have the unordered list opening tag and closing tag telling HTML that there's basically going to be um, a list. So this tells the browser, hey, there's going to be a list on this page. Um, so it sets it up. And then anything between these two tags um, is gonna, are going to be the list items. And what we have in order to denote a list item is the li tag. So, and by the way, every li tag needs to have a closing tag. So um, the first item I said was going to be milk. So we'll add that to the list here. We'll save it and we'll refresh. And here's our first item on the list milk followed uh, with a bullet point in front of it. So let's go back and add a couple more items. All right, so let's space that down here, and we'll add another list item. And again, for every item that you're going to be putting on your list, you're going to want to create a new set of li tags. Um, the ul tags only have to be done once at the beginning and end of the list, um, and the list item tags have to be done for every item. So um, ul tags once, list item tags for every item. Each list is probably going to have a different amount, depending on what you're making the list for, but just in general, this is how it works. So uh, we'll add something else, bread, save it, come on over and take a look. And we'll just add a couple more items. We'll say cereal. 
oops, come back over here. We'll say milk, and then we'll put one more item on there. Uh, we'll say apples. So if we refresh this, and we come on over, we'll notice that we have five bullet points. Oh, I put milk on there twice. Let's change that. Uh, we'll say juice. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. So we have uh, our title of the list here, which has nothing to do with the list. I just made it in, um, using a header tag to make make the list easier to you know define it, show you what it's about. And then we have our five items in the list here, milk, bread, cereal, juice, and apples. And uh, you can tell it's an unordered list because there aren't numbers here. Um, basically putting the items in order, there's just bullet points. Um, and this, you can use this for a variety of different things, I guess, whatever you want to use a list for. Um, but this is basically how you would go about making an unordered list. Just a couple things that you should note is that you can actually put list, you can put lists inside of list if you wanted to nest a list. Um, and you can also, you know, put images as list items, uh, links as list items, stuff like that. So one thing I'm going to show you is how to nest a list or essentially put one list inside of another. So let's say we have juice here, a juice list. And um, within this juice list, we want to put another list. So we'll say here, we'll say UL. And then we'll close the unordered list tags because we're going to nest an unordered list. And we're going to say, let's say apple juice. And we'll save that. Oop, forgot the list item tag actually. So the list item tag would go in front of the apple juice and would close it off. This is why I kind of like to have them spaced one under another. Uh, as it gets confusing, but just to show you, we'll come over here and we'll refresh, and you'll notice that we have a nested list, and um, apple juice is actually in there using an unfilled in dot. So um, it's just another thing if you want to like specify different things within a particular list. So we'll come back over here and I'll show you again. So we'll say we'll add another list item, and we'll add orange juice to the list, and we'll refresh, and you'll see that we have another uh, thing on that's nested within the juice category, um, orange juice. So you can have more than one list within a list, but um, it uh, kind of might get confusing, um, especially if you have it like this. So we can kind of, uh, within this here, we can space it down to make it look a little nicer. And we'll put the apple juice underneath it, orange juice underneath that, and we'll put the other unordered list under that. Um, and we can just put that over here. So what we have here is this is one item within a list, um, and this is just the, oops, this is one item within a list, this is the juice item, um, and within this list item we have a whole separate list with its own item, so um, this is basically what's called nesting and in other programming languages um, like Java or C++, PHP, JavaScript, you can actually nest code blocks, but this is um, how to nest lists in HTML, and one thing you might want to do um, is just to tab things out to make it look like make it a little easier to read. That way you know that the juice list item is up here. Here's the end of that list item, and within this list you have a spaced out list um, that's nested. You can tell by the space that this is part of this list, uh, this list item rather. So just a little tip to make it easier on you. Um, but this is basically how would you how you would go about creating um, unordered lists in HTML. And again there are two more types of lists called ordered lists and definition lists, which we're going to learn about in the next two tutorials. But um, this is just basically how to go about making an unordered list. It creates this right here, and we created the grocery list. And um, you can also nest lists, include links in lists, um, pictures, you can color the text within lists. Um, it's basically just like regular text, but bulleted. So um, it's a good way to keep track of things, good way to you know write things out on a website if you're going to make points and whatever. Um, so this is Unordered Lists. Please, if you like this tutorial, please feel free to subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments section, or you can tweet me. I'm twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Um, or you can head on over to the Technical Cafe blog and click on the comments page, or contact page rather, and you can send me an email that way. So um, again, any suggestions are welcome. I can try to make some tutorials based off your suggestions. And, um, thank you for watching and have a great day.